Hi, I was just using Bible here. Oh, I'm reading uh, 1 Kings chapter 18. You can see that uh, Elijah in the Bible here, he's mocking the priests of Baal, the prophets of Baal. It's funny, you mock something and then you destroy them. Makes you wonder, huh? And my next question is, how many heroes that you love can you remember in your life that are out in the culture right now? And how many, how many authors that you want writing history, writing your history, are out there making movies, making books, getting published? I'm not wasting your time. I got a thing planned here. This uh, is the Captain Marvel movie. I I'm going to say that she's probably the she's probably the new Zeus, the biggest hero. She's going to defeat Thanos, the biggest villain, cosmic villain. I uh, originally I was going to compare Thanos to Thanatos, but completely different. But uh, Thanos is a good bad guy. Thanos in the in the movie is a really good bad guy. And really, it's the ultimate battle. That's Thanos. And uh, it's kind of funny because I haven't seen the movie, but Captain Marvel used to be the good guy. Now I think it, I think in the new movie he's the bad guy. Uh. You can see uh, Captain Marvel really rejects um, pr what used to be, rejects all the old things in the new movie. And um, I'm looking forward to the new Avengers movie. Now, I loved, I loved the last Avengers movie and what happens in the new Avengers movie, I'm sad to say, is... Captain Marvel is the ultimate answer to everything in the story. And what does that mean for our new gods, our new stories? What does that mean when we have these new stories in our head? If we have these new stories, we have to create these heroes that we look up to, that what we have to ask what is right what would our new heroes do well if Captain Marvel is the new Zeus she's probably going to uh, create a new race of man and animals to populate the earth as a new generation of moral beings of moral beings something to think about well we can only hope that, uh, well, anyway, something about destruction. Thanks for listening.